Were you previously using high level with the old sidebar and now that the sidebar has been updated, you're so confused about where to find the options that you need. You might potentially have just started using high level, but all the tutorials that you're seeing online may still be using the old sidebar and you're not sure where to find those same options inside your account. If that's the case, this video is a side-by-side -side comparison of the old sidebar and the new so that you can make sure you always know where to go to find exactly what you're looking for in your high level account. Let's dive in. We are going to cover the changes between high levels, original sidebar, and their new sidebar. So some people may still be using the previous sidebar. I actually prefer it. But for those people who are new to the system, you might be seeing a different sidebar. Just like every other platform, High Level makes changes, and this has been one of the more recent changes. However, it can cause a little bit of confusion if you are trying to navigate to certain things that were on the previous sidebar and now you're not sure where they are with the new sidebar. So that is what I will be showing you, a step-by-step -step overview of the same options on the original sidebar and where you can find them on the new sidebar. So let's hop over here and the first thing will be dashboard. So that is going to be exactly the same. You'll also see conversations in the same place. However, calendars is now going to be listed as calendars as opposed to scheduling. So if I click on calendars, it's going to go directly to my calendars. However, appointments will be on the right hand side. So what used to be in a drop down on the original sidebar is now on a horizontal sidebar when you click on the option on that vertical left hand sidebar. So again, calendars was previously scheduling. So calendars and then appointments is going to be on that right hand side. Then we also see contacts, which was already listed down here. And now you're going to see this horizontal sidebar with your contact request, bulk actions and restore. So some of those same things that were on that drop down. Again, they are going to be on this horizontal top menu. We also have opportunities, which again was originally on the sidebar. So that's going to be for your pipelines. And then you have payments. So payments was not previously an option on the original sidebar, but it is now. Payments will be your products. So this could previously be found under the settings menu and you're going to have transactions and integrations. Integrations is not your Google My Business and your Google Calendar and your Facebook. It's only going to be your options for payment integrations. Now we have email marketing. So we previously had that marketing tab and now we see email marketing. So email marketing isn't going to have everything that the marketing tab had on it. Campaigns will no longer be there. You are going to see the email builder. You're going to see your templates, your trigger links, and your HTML builder. So survey builder, form builder, and campaigns, which were previously under marketing, you don't find them under email marketing. Okay, so the next one we're going to see is automations on the new sidebar. So under automations, that's going to be your workflows but also your campaigns and triggers. So if you recently got on high level, you might not even see campaigns and triggers at all. So I'm going to quickly hop over to settings and show you where you can go to enable those if you would like to enable those or disable them if you don't need to. So on settings under business info, we see this enable or disable depreciated features. So if you are using any type of account that has campaigns and triggers, or maybe you just like the campaigns and triggers as opposed to workflows potentially, you might want to leave those on there. However, 
If you are just getting started in high level and you're not using a snapshot or a template that includes campaigns and triggers, you probably just want to start by doing everything in workflows. But again, if you do not see campaigns and triggers under the automations tab, you go to settings and then business info and just scroll down and you'll click both of those options on to get them on that horizontal menu. So that is automations. Previously, we had workflows as its own tab. And then again, under marketing, we had campaigns and then triggers was its own tab. So those three things have now been combined into one under automation. Now, if we go to sites, we're gonna see a lot of thing on sites. So you just want to keep in mind that anything that would be related to a form or to a funnel or a website or membership site, that's now all combined into the sites tab. So we've got our funnels, our websites, our memberships with our different membership options, our forms and our form options, surveys and survey options, our chat widget, which goes on a funnel or a website, our media library and our URL redirects. So previously we had funnels and websites, then we had memberships under that dropdown. So those three things are the first three you'll see under sites. But we also had under the marketing tab, we had the form builder and the survey builder, which are now under sites as well. The chat widget also had its own option, which is now under sites. Media could really just be uh, found going through your funnels um, and URL redirects did not previously have a place on the sidebar. Now, if we go to reputation, this is going to be the same that you saw under that reputation tab. So not a ton of things have changed on this one. It's still got its own sidebar option and the same options on that horizontal sidebar. And then reporting, if we click on reporting, we're gonna see basically those same options, but we're gonna see them on that horizontal sidebar with additional drop downs instead of going to something like Google Ads and then seeing them horizontally, we're gonna have them vertically on that drop down. So if we hop back over to settings, your settings might look a tad different as well. So I'm in settings. Previously, everything was on this horizontal menu, and now everything is going to be on that vertical sidebar. So business info was previously that profile or that company option right here. Then if we go to team management, team management is going to be listed under my staff. Then we also have teams that will be to the right of that. So teams previously had its own tab, but now it's found under my staff. Pipelines will still have its own profile. Again, profile used to be first. Now profile is going to be listed fourth under my business. We also have the calendars, phone numbers, and reputation management. So calendars, phone numbers, and reputation. Those three things are in its own little section right here. Then we also have custom fields, custom values, domains, media, URL redirects, integration, SMTP and Mailgun, and tags. So all of those options are still here except for payments, which is now on the primary sidebar as opposed to your horizontal menu, and then Facebook form fields mapping. This is previously on its own tab. It's now under integrations on the new sidebar. I think this is a pretty easy one to think about because Facebook form fields mapping, it is an integration related to your Facebook page. And so it does make sense that it is on that integrations tab as a sub menu option on that horizontal sidebar. So that is the overview of the differences and the changes between the original sidebar and the brand new high level sidebar. Some people might still have the option to continue using the original. I would assume like with most platforms that at some point that will no longer be an option anymore, but 
Whichever one you're using right now, it's still a good idea to be able to understand where to find those options in your own account. If you were watching tutorials or going through some type of course, or you were looking for something that you previously found somewhere, but you don't know where to find it under the new sidebar. If you liked this video, make sure to like, comment, or subscribe to my channel to get more tutorials just like this one. Hopefully this video helps you navigate the brand new layout and sidebar of your high level account. And if you have any questions, make sure to let me know. See you on the next video.